Hi there. Uh, my name is Dan Curtis Cummins, and I'm honored to have been asked to make this video for the CFA in defense of lecturer jobs. Um, I am a dedicated, active adjunct lecturer in the English department at SF State. And um, <clears throat> I got to say, I'm, I'm joining you from my home office here <clears throat> that I moved to in April, because um, like many of my <clears throat> colleagues, I got bounced home and had to make some uh, adjustments. So <clears throat> for us to move halfway through the pandemic, halfway through rewriting my entire curriculum for the rest of the semester, updating my course website daily to respond to students' needs and questions and uh, the schedule, <clears throat> transitioning lesson plans online uh, to try to keep students engaged in these virtual online environments like this one. Um, so on top of all this, I was co-leading two teaching and learning communities with fellow lecturers, other colleagues who kept showing up and uh, were dedicated and commit. <clears throat> and uh, I, I get the, the sense from the whole community that I work with that we have such a commitment and dedication to our students and to our jobs and professional development and the latest knowledge and learning with each other and collaborating um, <clears throat> that I think it is really very sad to see that it really come down to political budget decisions that decide our fate um, and not the quality of our professional work, quality of our teaching, the contributions to the community that we have here, um, our studies, <laughs> or feedback from students, things like that. Um, budget cuts always seem to re reveal these deeper flaws with the priorities of the university. Um, we see stability for corporate contracts. We see stability for highly paid administrative jobs that could easily cover seven lecturer salaries. Well, I understand this is a st systemic issue, really. If, if nobody has the courage or humility to address it at the administrative level, then people like myself paying two student loans for master's degrees at SF State are going to continue to suffer pressure, undue pressures. Um, anxiety over paying rent in the Bay Area when we're already teaching five classes. Um, we know as well that when our faculty suffers, our students' education suffers. When we feel pressure in our jobs, they feel pressure in their learning. So here's a couple ideas that have been proposed by the CFA before that I think really need to spark a, a real conversation with real stakeholders um, seeking for solutions. So pay attention to some ideas like lowering class sizes university-wide, which is a good idea anyway, to allow more student contact and engagement. Making course releases available for professional development to save lecturer jobs and allow the department to grow from professional development knowledge. <clears throat> and to change the time base for 1.0, which I've been working for the past year. I know a lot of fellow lecturers working teaching five classes and sometimes having second jobs like myself, I <clears throat> would highly advocate for, recommend, for changing the time base from four, five courses to four courses. Thank you for listening. I send this with all the respect for what I know is a difficult situation that the university is facing in responding to this pandemic. Nonetheless, the university is least powerful and the most in need for advocacy which are really the lecturers and the students. We, this is the true life force of the university and the reason that we're all here. And so the students is what it comes down to bearing the brunt of this burden. And that shouldn't be the case. Sacrifice really has to come from all levels. <clears throat>